For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of this dark world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Good morning, beautiful people. It is your boy Shannon Coleman Senior, aka the Rev. Um, and this weather is ridiculous if if you really want to talk about it. But today, I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick about some things, man. And I want to give a shout out to my Word of Faith family, 21 Main Street, Darby, PA, 19023. Leaders, Apostle Byron Hope Lampkin and Pastor Patricia Lampkin. I want you guys to come on out, support the ministry, support what it is that we're doing, um, and let God begin to move in our communities. Uh, because with unity in the community, there's... Uh, you know, strength, there's uh, forgiveness, there's, um, you know, hope. Um, and that's what we're we're looking for, man. Um, because um, that now faith, man, we, we, we need it, man. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And uh, we need some of that, that, that now faith um, in our community. We need some of that hope um, so that we can help our families heal uh, be delivered, um, and also set free. Um, man, we're not wrestling get, uh, against, uh, flesh and blood, man. We, we just not, we're wrestling, against, we're wrestling against a whole lot of other stuff right now. And, um, we need, we need God, um, to come through, uh, because, um, things are, are, are going on in our community that, um, uh, that um we don't know like we we praying we're praying we're we're asking god for 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 um deliverance we're asking god for healing we're asking god for restoration um but what are what about what are we using what are, what is our spiritual weapons man yeah we 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 know that we uh we need to put on the whole armor of god um you know we got to pray we got to read our word we got to have faith we got to have all these other things but we also got to go out and and fulfill the commission of god um and i believe that going out and fulfilling the mission of commission of god the mission of christ um in, 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 in discipling nations, we need strategy. We need tactics. A general is not going to send uh, soldiers out into a battlefield uh, without a strategy. Um, a general is going to look at the enemy, you know, research the enemy, get evidence on the enemy, compile things on the enemy, and then go out there and fight a battle, a winnable battle. I mean, sometimes you might have to retreat because, um, you, you know, the enemy might have some things up their sleeve. And right now, that's what I feel like the church is retreating, but they're not they're not coming back together. They're not reconvening. They're not going back to the to the churches and to the communities and to other churches or other ministries and sitting down and, and trying to put together a, 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 a plan, a strategic plan to to combat the enemy. It's like we have these one man armies going on. You know, everybody want to be on a kamikaze mission. And it's like, that's not what God said. Like we know the weapons of our warfare aren't carnal, but people, these people are throwing spiritual nukes at us, right? And we're throwing rocks. You know, we say, well, David killed the Goliath with a, with, with, with a stone, with a slingshot. Yeah, he did. Because in that time, you know, God used that to, to do what he need to do. But God saying, yo, I need y'all to strengthen, you know, straighten up. And y'all got to get a, a, a different type of strategy because y'all throwing spiritual pebbles and y'all ain't hitting nothing. We, you know, we out here, you know, doing all of this stuff, man. A lot of churches in the churches, they preaching these words, they doing this, they doing that. But how many people are being saved? How many people are giving their life to Christ? But yet the church, the body of Christ is online arguing with each other about somebody else's ministry and how they're preaching and teaching the word of God. Why? Why are you worried about what they're doing if they're getting people saved? That's jealousy. That's envy. Why are we coveting what God gave that person? 
There's no need for us to covet another man's anointing or gift and what God is doing over there instead of focusing on the vineyard where God placed you. We got to get past that, man. Stop looking at denominations. Stop looking at this. We, you know, the, the Baptists going to war with the Pentecostals and the Apostolics going to war with this one and, and everybody going to war with each other. And, and yet there's people out there dying. The body, but the body of Christ is fighting each other. Like we're confused. We're, why are we so confused as to what it is that that we need that we ought to be doing? You know, as the body of Christ, where does that make sense at? That makes no sense to me. I, I, I'm 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 lost. I'm lost to, um, trying to understand why we as the body of Christ are fighting one another. Right? I'm 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 stuck. I'm stuck. God wants us, he's given us a strategy for this end time. It's all in the word of God. We know that we're going to face a lot of opposition. We know that there's going to be a lot of people walking away from the church. We already know this is going to happen. So we have to zero in on the remnant and focus on getting those saved that are hurting and looking for something or looking for a deliverer, looking for salvation, looking for grace, looking for mercy. But we can't do that if we're constantly pushing people out of the church. Why? Because they might have tattoos or they might have piercings or they might not dress the way that we dress. We're we're fighting a, um, um, a new battle uh, with old weaponry. We're fighting a new battle with old weaponry. We have to... We have to update our weaponry. I'm not saying change the word of God. I'm saying we have to figure out a new way as to how to do, deliver the word of God. A lot of our older saints don't want to do social media. They don't want to, you know, do digital platforms. But the Holy Spirit can move through any and everything. Too many times in the Bible, Jesus didn't have to go to a place to heal somebody. All he had to do was speak the word. That's all he had to do. People could come across your post on social media if you're speaking truth and the Holy Spirit unctions them and they can be saved in that moment. They don't have to be in your very presence. They don't because it's not you that saves anyway. It's the Holy Spirit that saves. So we got to get past this, man. We, we got to get with the times, meaning we have to be able to spread this gospel by any means necessary. You forget before they had the written word on, on tablets and stones, it was just audible. They, they, they just told the stories between the different tribes and it moved throughout the nations. But then so many people started getting, you know, uh, with this with this with this gospel that they had to begin to write it down. And then that's how it started moving. Then they then, you know, we got to this age where they started having the books. Everybody had a Bible in their home. Remember, everybody used to didn't have a Bible. God said, okay, look, everybody got to get a Bible. It got to be in everybody's language so that they could get this word. And now we have this digital age. But we had so many people fighting against it. Because they're stuck in their old ways. No. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Stop looking at the way things used to be or the way you used to do stuff and start asking God for strategic strategies and plans as to how we can minister the word of God to this new generation. They have new issues. They have new problems. They have new things that they're dealing with. And we as the body of Christ must figure out how we can deliver the message of salvation to these people. And if social media and digital platforms is the way to go, then we have to begin to look at how we can build a hybrid church, meaning people that's in the building and people that's online. 
There's nothing wrong with it. We can't allow ourselves to get left behind. The church, the church have to seek God and ask God, how do we continue to move forward in spreading this love that Jesus wanted us to spread? This salvation that Jesus wanted us to spread. This mercy that Jesus wanted us to spread. Because it's all about Christ anyhow. I love you all with the love of God. There's nothing you can do about it. We can do all things through Christ that gives us strength. And never forget, I am my brother's keeper. And I'm also my sister's protector. And so are you. Peace.